In this video, I'm gonna show you how to apply a campaign banner during a limited period of time, Christmas in this case. Now, what I'll show you works in all of our signature products. Exchange Edition, Outlook Edition, Office 365 Edition, you could do this in all of them. Basically, I'll clone the policy I'm using for most of the year, and everything will remain the same, except the template is going to show my Christmas banner, and I'll set a date range to only show it during a specific period of time. Lastly, I'll test it and make sure that it's working correctly. So, let's get started. So, in here, this is the standard banner I use most of the time. It's set to continuous. Now, what I wanna do is have a different version just for the Christmas period, though this would work for any period. You just would set the date accordingly. I'll clone this policy, and then in here, I'll rename this policy appropriately. In my case, it'll be Christmas Signature Policy, and it's not primary, so I'll just remove that. Great. Now, everything else is the same in here. The template is a copy of the last template, so I now wanna switch it to the Christmas banner template I've already created with, you'll notice, that little Christmas banner in there. The rules will be the same, it's gonna to apply to the same people, but here, I wanna change the date range. So in here, I'm gonna say that this only applies between two particular dates, between the 1st of December, 2014, and the 31st of December, 2014. So that version is what's gonna be displayed during that time period. Before that date, it's not gonna show anything, and I could also choose it in that view here, and after that second date, it'll switch back. I could even use an advanced schedule based on the days of the week, times of day, and also add that together with a combined date range. But I'm gonna go with date range, and uh, I'm happy with that policy. The only thing is, I'm just gonna move it down in the hierarchy of policies because in a second, I'm gonna say that if this policy is applied, don't process any more signature policies. So if I click here and I click on that next policy tab, I'm gonna say this. If this policy is applied, don't process any more Outlook signature policies because above it, I've got the reply signature. This one is just supposed to replace during that time period, that one. So that's why I've moved it down. This should become the interesting new Christmas version <clears throat> now. So I'll click save and yes. So in Outlook, after I reopen it, when I click new email, perfect. There's my Christmas banner. So if I wanna use template editor to modify my Christmas banner, all I do is of course go to the template editor program, more than likely on another user's computer, since it's intended for maybe a web designer or graphic designer to use. So what I wanna do is filter this so it's showing me live templates only. I'll set live to yes, so I can see this Christmas banner that's actually in one of my policies. So I could select that Christmas signature template and go in here and edit it the same way the administrator would up on the IT side product. So I could go in, maybe make a change to the URL that I'm gonna to link to, fine. And I can save those changes. And at that point, it's gonna go into a draft status. So those changes aren't yet live. When I'm ready and I've reviewed it, I can just click publish and it'll publish my changes up to the IT side product and out onto all my users' emails. Perfect, thanks for watching.